Part 2. If you cannot draw. Just so you know, I drew the original drawing very large, just so you could see better when I was tracing. But in reality, what you should do is do your tracing on paper that is the size of the image you want, the size that you want to color. So I wanted the design to be eight and a half by 11. So what I did is I took a photo of my drawing and then I sh uh, printed it to be eight and a half by 11. So what I did is I took a photo of my drawing and I reprinted it to eight and a half by 11. And now that's what you're going to see. That is the image that I'm going to transfer because I want it redrawn on an eight and a half by 11 sheet. So let's watch the video, see how I did this. So here's my eight and a half by 11 print. I darkened the back just like that with a 2B pencil and then I redraw the whole image. I didn't redraw the whole thing here because I wanted you not to wait too long. So just to give you an idea of what I did for the whole image, I retraced because everything's so pale and then really hard to see. And then I start to add design after. Just like that. I want to link the birds with a particular design and add design onto the birds just like you're seeing now. These birds um, are all from our local area and I just want to make them look a little special with those fancy designs. Then you redraw everything with a felt marker, a black uh, marker, and then you can see I added extra designs. I filled in the spaces in between the birds. I filled in all kinds of designs everywhere. I wanted to create a busy space that everyone can color and change color often. So now it's going to be your turn. Create your, your own design and show me what you can do. I'm looking forward to seeing your projects. See you in the next section.